Hello relatives, welcome to this week's Schlagbait for the week July 6th, 2009, entitled Ministry for Broken Health. My Baba Yaga sister in Taos, who is a loyal reader of New Yorker, sent me an extraordinary article written by a Harvard surgeon, Dr. Atul Gawande. It's a story about how a physician culture drove up the cost of health care in a Texas town. There are some doctors who are diligently proactive in seeking answers to patient complaints and prescribing immediate relief. They order extra tests and services and procedures because the stuff is all reimbursable. And it's also a defense against potential lawsuits. Surgeons in McAllen, Texas, are operating a lot more than those in neighboring El Paso. Their justification is the belief that an obese 40-year-old woman in McAllen is not going to change her diet. If she's in discomfort, why not simply operate on her and put her out of her misery? McAllen surgeons do more cardiac procedures, more hips, knees, and assorted biopsies than their neighbors often in hospitals or surgical diagnostic and imaging centers, which they own or have a financial interest. Healthcare costs are overwhelming us because we have the most wasteful and least sustainable healthcare system in the world. And unless we change the system, even universal coverage is going to fail because it will not control costs. Let's say we pay doctors more if we, if they keep their patients out of hospitals. I mean, if we change the system and reward prevention instead of intervention, reward doctors who spend a little time to develop a relationship with patients and inspire them to believe that they can become the principal agents in their own healing. If we reimbursed on such a system, we would reduce by at least half the staggering cost to treat chronic diseases in America, which account for 85% of the health care budget. Don't knock the docs in McAllen, Texas, by the way. They are, like the overwhelming majority of physicians in this country, a knowledgeable, committed, caring group of professionals. And most of us would like to return to a profession that we chose, not because it was an industry, but because it was a ministry. For doctors to do that, patients and lawyers need to step up if we're going to get beyond the finger-pointing blame reactions if stuff happens. Stop all the lawsuits and stop settling malpractice cases because it's cheaper than going to trial. It perpetuates litigation, makes doctors order more tests, practice more defensively, and rack up the costs. Universal coverage is possible if we can control costs. And we can, if as a nation, we step up and appreciate that the work of healing is a sacred profession based on mutual trust. That's my thought for this week. Have a great Independence Day week as we celebrate our freedom and the responsibilities that come with it. Have a wonderful week. I say this for all my relations. Me